The Crisp Chatbox system is a great way to create your own messaging funnels. In this video, we can create a scenario where you can collect user details and feed this data into the Crisp CRM. Let's get down to it. First, we're going to click on New Scenario. We provide existing scenarios and it's pretty similar to what we are going to do today. But right now, we're going to create a new scenario from scratch. New blank scenario. Let's rename this scenario, so ask user details. Boom. So we're going to click on the entry gate, click on the plus icon, and then event. And we click user message matches. So a user message match is a hint so the chatbot can know when it should be triggered or not. Here we're going to use a star. So it means that any user message is going to trigger the chatbot. And now we can chain it and add a message. So action, send message, text message. And we can edit this message. Then we're going to chain a new block and use what we call a field message. So this field is pre-configured to ask your username. But of course, we could change it and ask a user email, an order ID, or anything you want. In that case, the only thing we're going to edit is we're going to force the user to complete this step. So that means that the user won't be able to interact with the chatbot until this step has been completed. Now we're going to use the input action. The reason we need to use an input action and not the plus icon is the input action going to be chained only once the user submits uh, the input. Otherwise, it means that the next block is going to be triggered immediately. Now we can memorize this value and we're going to use name. This step is important because it will allow us later to reuse this value inside our chatbot scenario. Now we're going to add a new block, so plus, action, update user, update username. And we're going to reuse name that was stored inside our bot memory in the step just before. Now we can chain all the blocks. So what we want to do now is to ask the username. So we click on plus, action, and we can use drag and drop. And we drag the field. So we're going to edit uh, this block so we can ask the username instead. And then we're going to update uh, the placeholder. And just before, we're going to force the user to complete this step before continuing to the next step. So from there, um, the steps are pretty much the same that the ones we did for the name. Input action. Then we're going to memorize as email. And now we're going to store uh, this email. So action, update user. And this time, we're going to be update user email. And we're going to reuse email. Now we can trick things a little bit and add a condition so we don't reach the ask uh, user step if the user provided his email uh, in a previous conversation. So for this, uh, we have a condition name email is set. So we're going to drag and drop uh, this step. Boom, just between the two blocks. Just make sure to configure your condition using is not. So that means that we're going to continue to next step if email is not set. We can also do a new branch so we can do a different step if the user provided his email before. And now we can add a step at the end that's going to reuse our username. So for this, we're going to use drag and drop. So action, text message, and we drag it. So thank you very much. And we can also reuse uh, the username like this. And now we can merge the two branches. So we just need to wire the two branches to the text block. And boom, here we are. We have a, a chatbot scenario ready to test. So we save it and we test the scenario. So hello. And now, as you can see, the chatbot is chaining all the blocks as we configured in our scenario. And at the end, it sends a final message by reusing the username. 
Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't hesitate to subscribe to our YouTube channel to not miss any tips and tricks about CRISP.